Hello everyone, this is Denise Adams and I have a word for you today to encourage you today. I hope it encourages you today, it, it did for me. Um, I want to tell you a story that happened yesterday so it's so appropriate to our life in Christ. I was actually uh, watching my cat on the deck and she roared across the deck, grabbed a hummingbird, I don't know how she did it, and she ran and she ran under a bed and she hid there with this hummingbird. I tried to coax the cat out and, and look for the hummingbird and um, that didn't work. So I, I got down on the ground and kind of fished around to look for where this hummingbird was. And I used a great big flashlight that was bright. And so I could see into the corners and see what was going on. Well, yay, we found the hummingbird and I actually was concerned. I thought maybe it had perished, but it had not perished. And uh, what I saw was that uh, as I went to pull it out gently um, and scoop it up, it flew out and landed in the windowsill inside the house. So I went over to it and I scooped up the hummingbird, speaking to it very softly actually, and I carried it, I had covered it in my hands and I took it outside on the deck and let it go and it just flew away on its own. And I was just very, very grateful that the hummingbird was okay. The cat was not happy with me, let me tell you. She was one angry, one angry cat for a while, but that's okay. Well, that reminds me of the body of Christ and how we need to uh, be alert and be vigilant. Um, if we look at the scripture, I'm going to go to John 10:10. 10, 10. Firstly, we know it says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come that you would have life and life to the abundant overflow. And the Amplified, let me go there, just kind of brings it out better. It says, um, the thief only comes in order to steal and to kill and to destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full and to the overflow. This is what Jesus has said for you and I, that he wants us to have life to the overflow. And I like that. He has come to give us those things and uh, it's very important that we understand that he's come to give us life and I, I you know I look at it and I think you know how how many times has Jesus rescued us has set us free from things in life that has held us back and uh, even even when we thought we were being diligent and vigilant and watching um, the enemy has tried to uh, attack our lives but God always gives us a way of escape in um, Peter first uh, where is it here in first Peter 5 verses oh let's go well let's do read the whole thing we can start at verse 6 this is a reading from the Amplified I, I really enjoy this word because it really encouraged me it says therefore humble yourselves demote lower yourselves in order in your own estimation under the mighty hand of God that in due time he may exalt you, casting the whole of your care, all of your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns, once and for all on him. For he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Be well balanced, temperate, sober-minded. Be vigilant and cautious at all times. For that enemy of yours, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion in fierce hunger seeking someone to seize upon and devour now he can't do it to everyone so we have to be vigilant let me continue with the scripture in verse 9 it says withstand him be firm in faith against his onset rooted established strong immovable and determined wow let me read that again be, withstand him, be firm in faith, be firm against his onset, be rooted, established, strong, immovable, immovable and determined, knowing that the same identical sufferings are appointed to your brothers and sisters, the whole body of Christians throughout the world. So this is nothing new. It's for, it happens to all the Christians. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who imparts all blessing and favor, who has called you to his own eternal 
glory in Christ Jesus, will himself complete and make you what you ought to be, established and ground you securely, and strengthen and settle you. That's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. I encourage you to look at the Amplified, 1 Peter 5, verses 6 through 10, and the Amplified, reread that again, look at it, understand it. Jesus has come that we would have life and life to the overflow. He is the good shepherd. He has decreed that. He said that in John 10, 11, that I am the good shepherd is what he said. He's coming to protect you and care for you and cover you. But we have to be vigilant. We have to be strong. Amen. So let me declare this word over you. Let me release this word over you today. I want to tell you today that you are strong, that you are wise, that you will not be entrapped, that you are soaring in Christ. You have a God who is on your side. Fear not. Do not worry. You are never disadvantaged. The greater one abides within you. And yes, you are free. You are free indeed. And whom God has set free is truly free and indeed. So live this life to the fullest. Live it without fear. Live it fully submitted to God. Amen. And watch the enemy flee. I want to thank you today for joining me. I love you dearly. Have a blessed, awesome day. We'll talk soon.